Welcome to the course Engineering Drawing. Engineering Drawing is describing any object, machine details, or any information of a component diagrammatically without the barrier of language. Engineering drawing are used to communicate technical information, design details, detail different views and necessary dimension of any component. Engineering drawing helps to communicate product details between different companies, manufacturing information between engineers and machine operators, and it provides product details to different customers. We take some examples. Here we have detailed automobile components and an electrical circuit. If we try to explain these diagrams verbally or in written without any diagram, it would be difficult or even impossible to explain these concepts. So diagram makes easy to understand any concept. As we can see here, this is an automobile detail parts and electrical circuit diagrams. The diagrams makes it very simple to understand. We have taken an example of a refrigerator and a laptop. If we purchase any electrical appliance or an electrical product, we get an instruction manual describing the operation procedure and handling diagrammatically. So the drawing makes us understand the product details easily. Drawing instruments. To prepare any drawing, drawing instruments are required the accuracy of drawing depends on the quality of instruments. So it is important to have drawing instruments with good quality and accuracy. All the instruments which are necessary and we will need in the lectures ahead are mentioned here. We will check all these instruments required one by one. The first one is drawing pencil. There are different grades of pencil. Here we see according to the grade, the pencil is soft and hard. If we consider HB as the reference grade, we can see as we are moving towards the right hand side, the pencil is getting harder and it will release less lead and the shade will be lighter. And if we move toward the left, towards the left hand side of the HP grade, we can see the pencil is getting softer and it will release more lead and the shade is getting darker. We can use H and 2H pencil for drawing outlines, center line, dimensioning line, dotted line, section plane line, etc. We don't need to remember that what grade of pencil is required for what kind of line. We will get to know, get to know this as we go ahead in this subject. You can also use a micro tip pencil of 0 0.5 millimeter thickness scales. We can use a plane scale or a ruler scale. A plane scale where we can see the markings are calibrated in centimeter, whereas the other side, the calibration is marked in inches. We can use this scale to draw straight lines. The other one is ruler scale. It is used to draw parallel lines and straight lines. Here we can see the markings are given in centimeters. Protector and compass. This is a protector. It is used to measure inclination. We can see 
it is calibrated on its circumference in degrees so we can mark angles and measure angles in both the direction clockwise or anti clockwise using a protractor then next is a compass a compass has two legs the first leg has a pointed needle which is rested on the drawing sheet whereas the other leg has a pencil attachment this instrument is used to draw arcs and circles we can use a pair of set squares here the first set square is a combination of 45 90 and 45 degree and the other is a combination of 30 60 90 degree it is used to draw parallel lines and perpendicular lines this is a drafting machine it is also known as mini drafter it is used to draw vertical lines horizontal lines parallel lines perpendicular lines and we can also draw inclined lines by adjusting this knob and setting the required angle sketchbook or drawing sheets you can get a sketchbook of size a2 or a3 these sizes are more preferred so you can get this sketchbook you can also use drawing sheets for drawing different sizes are available which we can see here starting from a0 a0 is the biggest size then a1 a2 that a7 is the smallest size of drawing sheet if you check this size a4 it is a page which we use for printing or we use for a photocopy for reference all the size of sheets are mentioned here as i am highlighting this we can see this is the biggest size which is a0 if you try to fold it in half then we will get size a1 this is size a1 then if you try to fold this size a1 into half we get size a2 this is size a2 then on further folding this size a2 into half we get size a3 this is size a3 then if you try to fold this size a3 into half we get size a4 this is size a4 and so on you can get a drawing board or a desk a drawing board is a flat board made up of wood the top face is flat and smooth where we need to fix the drawing sheets by using clips or pins this is the bottom side of the drawing board we can also get a drawing desk on this desk or on this drawing board we can fix the drafting machine pinch curve pinch curve are made up of wood or plastic there are different type of shapes and profile you can get any one of these pinch curve is used to draw curves which cannot be drawn with the help of compass this is the list of required instruments get all these instruments before we start the next lecture